Hey, this is Charles with Rocky Mountain ATV MC. Today I'm going to show you how to do a leak down test on a Polaris Razor 900. So what is a leak down test and why do you need to do it? A leak down test will help you determine the condition of your engine by pressurizing the combustion chamber and it will give you a percentage of air that leaks past critical engine components that ideally would have a perfect seal. Now this is a test that should be done periodically and it will help you keep tabs on the condition of your engine and let you know if something's wearing out. Now it's also a useful diagnostic tool for a poor running engine along with a compression test. But our manual actually doesn't give us a spec for a compression test, so in this video we're only focusing on the leak down test. Now we're working on a 2014 Polaris Razor 4 seat 900. This thing has been burning some oil, so we want to find out how bad the problem really is and if we need to replace the top end. So we'll go ahead and do this leak down test and find out how bad the problem really is. To do this job, we have some common hand tools. We've got our Motion Pro leak down tester that's available on our website. It comes with these hoses with different sizes to fit different machines. We also have some safety glasses, rags, and some compressed air. The first thing we need to do is gain access to our engine. So to do that, if you have any aftermarket accessories like a spare tire carrier or cargo box, you'll want to get those removed. Now that we have all of our accessories out of the way, We'll now remove the seat and disconnect the negative terminal on our battery. In this way, we don't have any issues with the engine trying to turn over while we're working on it. Next, we'll remove the access panel for the engine. Now that we have access to the top of the engine, we'll want to clean this up so we don't get any dirt in the engine when we remove the spark plugs or oil filler cap. So now I'm going to go ahead and remove these spark plug cap boots. I'm going to take the compressed air and blow out each spark plug hole. Next, we'll remove the spark plugs. Now, as we pull the spark plugs out, it's a good idea to look at the condition of the spark plug. And if there's a ton of oil buildup on there, that's obviously a sign you may have some top end issues. But these ones actually don't look too bad. Next, we'll remove our oil filler cap. And then we'll remove this air box cover and air filter. The next thing we'll do is remove our radiator cap. The next thing we need to do is remove our belt cover. At this point, we're gonna start by getting the PTO cylinder or left side engine cylinder at top dead center on the compression stroke so to do that, what we're going to do is insert a flat blade screwdriver down into the cylinder and we're going to rotate the engine counterclockwise using our primary drive clutch and we'll rotate the engine until the screwdriver peaks out at its highest point. Now we can remove the screwdriver. So now we have the leak down tester here. We need to have our air supply and then we need to zero the gauge to do that. Motion Pro wants us to back this out all the way before we make any adjustments. We'll hook our air supply in and then we'll turn the knob until it, the needle reaches zero. And then to finish the setup, we'll take one of these adapter hoses, we'll hook it in for a second, and then make sure the needle returns to zero. If it does, then you've got everything set up correctly. We're going to make a little more adjustment on ours. So that's returning to zero. We'll push this down to lock it in place. And now we can choose which adapter is correct for our machine. So these adapters, we'll just match them up to the width and thread pitch of our spark plug. So this is gonna be the correct one for us. Now we can take that and we'll screw this into the spark plug hole that we just set at top dead center. Before we hook up our tester, we need to put a breaker bar on the primary clutch bolt to keep the engine from rotating over. 
That way we get an accurate measurement on our gauge. Now this is easiest to have a friend hold the breaker bar while you hook up the gauge and listen for leaks. So we had 100% leak down. So what this probably means is that we're on top dead center on the exhaust stroke. So we need to turn the primary drive clutch over 360 degrees and that will put us on top dead center on the compression stroke. To make this easier, we're gonna index the inner clutch cover with our primary drive clutch using a Sharpie. And that way, when we rotate this over 360 degrees, we know exactly what point is at top dead center. So as you can see, we're at 10% leakage on this cylinder. The service limit for Polaris is 20% leakage. So we are well within spec. Now we'll disconnect our leak down tester and repeat these steps on the other cylinder. Again, we're using a screwdriver to help us find top dead center. Once we have our second cylinder at top dead center, we can install our adapter hose and gauge. So as you can see, we have 23% leak down. Now anything over 15% indicates an engine that is wearing out or needs attention soon. And the service limit on these Polaris engines is 20%. And since we're over that limit, we need to locate our problem and get it repaired. So the first place we're gonna check for air coming out of on this leak down test is by this oil filler cap hole. Now what this is gonna tell you, if you have air coming out of this, that means air is going past your piston rings and working its way through the crankcases and venting out right here. So ours actually is leaking some air past here, but just because we have a little bit of air coming past here doesn't mean that's the only spot. So we're gonna keep checking and listening for air coming out of other places to make sure we don't have any other problems. The second spot we're gonna be listening for air is in this air box and both of these boots right here. If you can feel or hear any air coming from there, that means you have a problem with your intake valves. Now, just because you have some air coming from here doesn't mean that the cylinder head is damaged. It could be just that the intake valves are out of adjustment. The third spot we're gonna check is down at the tailpipe. Now, if you can feel or hear any air coming out of here, this indicates a problem with your exhaust valves and those will be the same issues that you could run into with the intake valves. The last thing we're gonna check is to see if we have a bad head gasket. This problem will be a lot less common, but what you wanna do is check the other spark plug hole, make sure there's no air coming out of that. And then you're also gonna look down into the radiator and make sure there's no bubbles coming up. If you do have issues with either of these, again, that's gonna indicate a bad head gasket. And that's all there is to doing a leak down test on your Polaris Razor. It's really not that bad a job to do. And if your machine checked out okay, you can go ahead and reassemble all the parts in the reverse order of disassembly. For us, we're gonna keep going on with this assembly. We need to get this engine fixed. So we'll go ahead and do that. We are gonna have a separate rebuild video for this engine. So if you need to do that, make sure you check that out. And if you need this tool, it's available on our website. We also have OEM and aftermarket parts. And if you like this video and wanna see more like it, subscribe to our YouTube channel because we have a ton of other helpful videos on there. Thanks for watching.